Hi, we are Topaz Labs. We just announced our latest new product, Astra, which is a creative upscaler. So I'm here with our uh, CEO, Eric, and our head of AI research, Kevin, to just share some insights and answer some questions about Astra. So I'll get started with Eric. Uh, first of all, what is Astra and what's the big deal? Yeah, Astra is the first video creative upscaler in the world. And this is a pretty big deal because in upscaling, traditionally you had to choose between one of two things. Number one, you could either have a really, really detailed and realistic looking upscale, but it looks almost nothing like your original, loses all the creative intent. Or number two, you can have a, a really high fidelity upscale, which looks perfectly matches your original, but it doesn't really generate that much detail. Astra is important because you can do both for the very first time. So instead of choosing between fidelity and, fidelity and detail, like a switch, you can turn that switch into a knob and choose the degree to which you want either. And what we found is this has some pretty massive use cases for both AI filmmakers and traditional filmmakers, and uh, we're really excited to put the product out. Okay, so this is a question is already coming up from the community, which is, what's the difference between Starlight and Astra? Starlight is the family of AI models that we developed that powers Astra. Astra is just the product uh, to the models. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I want to shift to Kevin. On a technology side, how does Astra pushes the state of AI generated video forward? And perhaps we can share some uh, behind the scene of like how, why is, has this been uh, such a tough problem to crack? Yeah, sure. So I know that uh, we already have a lot of um, text to image uh, models available on the market and people are using that. And we just uh, have a, a reasonable good video models uh, recently. So whenever it comes from, com uh, whenever it comes to video, actually it's orders of magnitude more difficult than image itself. And starting from last October, we were starting working on a next generation top us video technologies. I, I think you're already familiar with our previous product. So the difficult part of a video is that um, for whatever new things you generate, you have to make it temporal consistent. So through almost a year, we got a secret source. So we were able to look at more than a thousand frames, more very effectively and produce the visual elements that we want. So we apply the same technology to Starlight, uh, Fidelity. You already see the product in top of the video AI. And now we are pushing the technology to uh, Astra and for creative upscaling. So for this case, um, you can generate new content and new details and more high fidelity uh, visual elements, but it's temporal consistent at all the frames. One of the core feature of Astra is creative upscaling. So I want to ask Eric, why is that important? Mm -hmm. Creative upscaling is actually fundamentally important to the generation, uh, the storytelling process. Now, there's already image creative upscaling. Interesting thing about video creative upscaling is that it separates the story from the detail. Previously, if you generated AI video, you would have to do both in one shot. You would have to generate an a AI uh, video that looks really detailed and really realistic and is perfect on the detail side, but that also tells and has the right composition and characters and everything in it. With Astra, we're separating those things. So you can tell your story first and get the storytelling part right without having to worry about any of the detail. And then after you've done that, you can bring in an Astra and get all the details right and realistic. So really what Astra is doing and what creative upscalers do is it adds a new level of controllability to your work by separating the story and the details in it. So... Following on that, one of the controls, the main controls creatives have are the two different uh, modes, right? Creative versus precise. Maybe Kevin shifting back, like what is under the hood behind those modes? Yeah. So in our training process for the Astro models, so basically we use different guidance signals. Um, for some of 
the model training, we, we guide it with uh, just the video itself. But, but for some of the video training, we guide it with more semantics. Um, for example, if you like um, AI general video, saying that you like the, the buildings, like the person, you just don't like the sky. Uh, the cloud that's presented there. So we're capable of change the sky, but it's still the sky. So we don't change the visual semantic, but we change the detail. So uh, in our training, we're injecting all different kinds of informations and try to guide that into the process. And in an inference, we put this, uh, we expose this kind of uh, guidance to the user. So basically you can choose a subtle mode or more bold mode for creativity. For the subtle mode, we respect uh, as much uh, information as possible, but we try to make the video more professional grade, maybe add more details and resolution. And for the creative mode, uh, basically we, we tend to be more aggressively change the content, but still you can see all the original uh, semantics. So just as Eric mentioned, so it would be more uh, iterative professional video editing instead of, okay, I, I either like uh, totally change the semantic and then regenerate the video, or I have to stick to that, uh, stick to every details and I cannot change anything. So by, um, yeah, by incorporating this both um, precision and a creative mode, uh, it give the freedom to our user. Another question that the community is asking is, so traditionally we offer, Topaz Labs offer products in a desktop form factor, right? So Astra will be a web only. Can we share why that's, uh, what, what's the main reasons behind that? Two main reasons here. The first is purely practical. Um, Astra as a model is just way too large and slow and uh, expensive. So we got to run up. Our, our servers right now. Um, but the second one, based on a lot of feedback, um, especially for the AI filmmaking use case, what we've seen is the most accessible form factor is actually on the web. And we make a lot of our product decisions based on trying to maximize the experience for the specific people using it. So what we heard was the web is the right form factor for Astra. Um, we previously... Uh, uh, this might change in the future as we, depending on feedback, might create a local version of it. For example, um, we created a local version of Starlight Precision a little while ago due to feedback, uh, but currently Astra is web only. So we're very excited for you to try Astra. You can go to astra.app to get an early access and we can wait to see what you will create with it. Share it with us. We'll repost it. Send it out to the world. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs>